God is the one who summons, God is the one who sends, and God is the one who sustains. And this is our mission and call, to follow the indications of the Lord. Because the mission of proclaiming the gospel is God's mission. It is the game of God. God is the loving provider in our mission. Therefore, God is asking us to trust in Him. In our first reading, we have heard the vocation of the prophet Amos. Amos came from Judah, from the south, and he was asked by the Lord to go to the north in order to prophesy. And there in the north, in Bethel, there was a priest who asked the prophet Amos, Go back to where you are from. You don't have the right to prophesy here. And Amos defended himself. I was a shepherd, and the Lord took me from the flock, and the Lord has given me the power to prophesy. In other words, Amos the prophet told to Amasiah the priest, It's the Lord who called me. It's the Lord who gave me the mission to prophesy. It is always the Lord. Amos is just responding yes and following the instructions of the Lord. In our gospel, it is the episode of the mission of the twelve. Better, the Lord has given mission to his twelve apostles. The apostles were summoned by the Lord. They were asked to stay with him. And afterwards, these disciples were being sent for the mission. See this kind of pattern? They are summoned first. They are called first by the Lord to stay with Jesus, to learn from the Lord. And later on, they are sent for the mission. At first, they became disciples, and then eventually, they became apostles. As they are sent for the mission, our Lord Jesus has given the apostles authority, power. And that is very nice to ponder upon, because this authority, this power, comes from the Lord. By bearing always in our mind, that authority is not from us. We are just given power and authority from the Lord. God is reminding us always to stay always with Him because the Lord knows that apart from Him, we will be in neutral, we will be useless and fruitless in our mission. As apostles, as preachers and teachers, as being sent by the Lord, we need to always realize that this power, that this authority is from the Lord. And this authority is for service. According to Pope Francis, having authority with no service at all is a dictatorship. This authority is for acts of charity. And our Lord Jesus gave a very radical instructions for the apostles. As you go, take nothing in your journey. No food, no sack, no money bag. Go lightly. And it tells to us to have this total dependence on the Lord. The Lord is with us. The Lord will touch people to become the instruments the vessels of his generosity. The Lord is telling to us, as we journey, we need to focus our attention on the proclamation of the kingdom of God, on his message of salvation. About material things, leave it to the Lord, because the Lord will always provide. After the Sunday Mass, when they went home, the boy asked the mother, Mommy, can you please give me $100? And the mother was surprised. Why do you need the $100? Because, mommy, I want to give the $100 to our parish priest. 
Why? What happened to our parish priest? During the Mass this morning, when the parish priest gave the homily, I heard Dad telling, Poor parish priest. <laughs> yes, as apostles, we always remain poor. We are poor because we have this total reliance and dependence on the Lord. We are not self-sufficient as we continue in our proclamation of the kingdom. Because we have to remember this basic and fundamental truth. The Lord summons, the Lord sends, and the Lord sustains. We will just do our best and God will take the rest.